fiddle, mandolin, and violin players. If you want to learn what chords occur in a key, watch this video. Hello, I'm Pete Martin. If you'd like to see more videos in this series or other videos of mandolin, fiddle, improvisation, and other music subjects, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. If you like the video, please click like. There's a PDF file that goes with this video. Find this by going to petemartin.info, click videos, and scroll down to find music theory for fiddle, mandolin, and violin. Players interested in improvisation should check out two series I am doing. Improv from Scratch is for non-jazz players who want to learn to improvise or who want to improve their improvisation. Jazz players should check out the Barry Harris for Jazz Mandolin series. Find these by going to petemartin.info, click videos, and scroll down. We have looked at the major scale and three different chords in the previous videos. Review them if needed. Review the G major scale one more time here in example one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Many chords are made up of every other note in a scale. If I take the G major scale and start on the note G, I play every other note for a total of three notes, I get G, B, and D. Due to the way the instrument is tuned, I can't play these notes in these exact places together, but I can play them if I make the B note one octave higher. See this in example two. For the rest of the chord sounds, get the chords from the mandolin. G, B, D. If I take the G major scale, start on the note A and play every other note, I get the notes A, C, and E. This is an A minor chord. See this in example three. A, C, E. If I take the G major scale, start on the note B, and play every other note, I get the notes B, D, and F sharp. This is a B minor chord. See this in example four. B, D, F sharp. If you find the information in this video useful, I ask that you consider supporting my channel through my Patreon page, which is patreon.com slash Pete Martin. For about the price of a cup of coffee, $3 per month, you support the making of videos, instruction articles, and transcriptions for fiddle, mandolin, and improvisation. Thank you for considering this. If I take the G major scale, start on the note C and play every other note, I get the notes C, E, and G. This is a C major chord. By the way, since a major chord is the most common type of chord, we don't need to say the word major. The term C chord means a C major chord. See this in example five. 
C E G. If I take the G major scale, start on the note D, and play every other note, I get the notes D, F sharp, and A. This is a D chord. See this in example 6. D, F sharp, A. If I take the G major scale, start on the note E, and play every other note, I get the notes E, G, and B. This is an E minor chord. The small m after the letter means minor. See this in example 7. E, G, A. If I take the G major scale, start on the note F sharp, and play every other note, I get the notes F sharp, A, and C. This is called an F sharp diminished chord, abbreviated DIM, or a small circle. Because a diminished chord is not used much in folk type music, we will skip diminished for now and come back to it in a future episode. See this in example 8. F sharp, A, C. We can play the chords we've just seen up the scale. This is example nine. My website, petemartin.info, has videos, instruction articles, transcriptions, information about mandolin and fiddle lessons, plus 13 instruction books I've written for mandolin, fiddle, and improvising, one of which is Easy Music Theory for Fiddle and Mandolin. Check it out. If I would ask you to play G, would you play a G note? or a G chord? This is not really a fair question because I don't give you enough information. A G note and a G chord sound very different. Hear this in example 10. G note, G chord. G note, G chord. In any of my instruction videos, when I talk about individual notes, I will use alphanumeric numbers, such as you see if you were looking at a clock. When I talk about chords, I will use Roman numerals. Look back at example 9. We can number these chords in the following way. One, 2 minor, 3 minor, 4, 5, 6 minor, 7 diminished. See this in example 11. One chord major. 2 minor, 3 minor, 
four major, five major, six minor, seven diminished. The chord's in a key. One major, two minor, three minor, four major, five major, six minor, seven diminished, and one major. Look back at the G major scale in example one, and then at the chords we looked at in examples two through nine. Notice we you only used the notes of the G major scale to construct the chords. What this shows is that the chords in the key of G are G, A minor, B minor, C, D, E minor, F sharp diminished. That means 1, 2 minor, 3 minor, 4, 5, 6 minor, and 7 diminished are all in the major key of 1. This is very important to know. It will help you to identify the chords and tunes if you know what chords are in a key. Eventually, it is important to know the chords in a key, so learn these in several keys. Your assignment is to learn the chords in each key you commonly play in. Know what numbers are in a key, which numbers are major, minor, and diminished. If you have questions or suggestions, please use the comments section below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon and click like if you feel so inclined. Also, check out my website and my Patreon page, the links to which are on screen and below. I'm Pete Martin. Thanks for watching.